Hi, morning. Hope everybody's well and good. This week, we're going to try something totally different from what we've done previously. And if we were in the space, if we were really in the space at Hangar Farm, we would be able to play lots of games. And I'm going to try two games with you online that I think will hopefully work um, if you want to have a go with them. I have racked my brains, my brain even, I don't have brains, I only have one brain. I have racked my brain to find out, um, to try and work out what games I can actually do with you online that you can take part in and I can help lead the games. So um, this might be um, a total disaster <laughs> or it might work really well. And that's gonna depend on um, you guys wanting to do the games with me, okay? So um, the, the point that we are at in The Wizard of Oz is um, the Tin Man and the Scarecrow and the Lion and Dorothy and Toto have just fallen asleep in the poppy fields. And just prior to that, they had met the flying monkeys and the flying monkeys are those characters that work for the um, bad witch and they run around doing what she tells them to do. They're basically her henchmen. They're quite scary characters because they fly. So they're quite unpredictable characters too. The flying monkeys are going to be um, included in the first game that we do. And it's a very famous game that we're just going to change to the flying monkeys. The game is called Simon Says. If you don't know it, I'm just going to explain the rules to you. You start off with saying, Simon Says, sit on your bottom. Simon Says, stand up. Simon Says, turn left. Simon Says, turn right. Simon Says, pat your head. Simon Says, um, put your arms out to the side. Simon Says, cross your arms. Simon Says, sit on the floor. Stand up. So on the last bit, I've said stand up instead of saying Simon Says at the beginning. So the idea is, that everybody is trying to listen out for the point where I say just the adjust the activity without putting Simon Says at the beginning. That means that person's out, but we don't have to be out today because we're doing all this virtually and I can't see you, so it doesn't matter. It's just a bit of fun. Um, so the idea is we're going to change that to the flying monkeys. The flying monkeys say, please stand up. The flying monkeys say, do, do, do. the flying monkeys say, la 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 la. And sit down and then you're out on sit down if you've sat down because it didn't have flying monkeys at the beginning of it okay have I explained that okay I think it's okay let's just try it and then we'll see if you've got it or not okay so the flying monkeys say please sit down with your legs crossed the flying monkeys say please stand up the flying monkeys say please do three star jumps star jumps is that The flying monkeys say, please put your head up to the sky. The flying monkeys say, please bring your head back to neutral. The flying monkeys say, please turn your head to the right. The flying monkeys say, please turn your head to the left and back to the middle. Did you bring your head back to the middle? If you brought your head back to the middle, you're out because I didn't say the flying monkeys at the beginning of it, okay? Right. Let's have another go. That was just a trial run. The flying monkeys say, please wave your hands above your head. The flying monkeys say, please put your hands down at your side. The flying monkeys say, please clap your hands. The flying monkeys say, please stop clapping your hands. The flying monkeys say, please cross your arms. Unfold your arms. Did you do it? Did you unfold your arms? Did you not? Are you still with me? If you're still with me, great. The fly monkeys say, please raise your shoulders. The fly monkeys say, please relax your shoulders. The fly monkeys say, please put your thumbs up. The fly monkeys say, please put your hands down. The fly monkeys say, clap your hands. The fly monkeys say, put your hands up in the air. The fly monkeys say, put your hands to the side. The fly monkeys say, cross your arms and uncross your arms. Did I get you? Did I get you? Did I get you out? Did I get you out? Have you done it? Have you not done it? 
The flying monkeys say, please sit down with your legs crossed. The flying monkeys say, please lie down. The flying monkeys say, please sit up and cross your legs. Did you do it? Did you cross your legs? Did you not cross your legs? What did you do? The flying monkeys say, please stand up. The flying monkeys say, please do three star jumps. The flying monkeys say, please put your head on your chin. The flying monkeys say, please put your head to your left and to your right. Did you do it? Did you go right? Did you not? Did you? Did you not? What did you do? This is the last round. The flying monkeys say, please sit down with your legs crossed and fold your arms. Did you do it? Did you fold your arms? Did you not? That was a really short one, so we're gonna do one more. The flying monkeys say, please stand up. The flying monkeys say, please hop on one leg. The flying monkeys say, please hop on the other leg. The flying monkeys say, please jump up and down with both feet. The flying monkeys say, stop jumping and fold your arms. Did you fold your arms? Did you not fold your arms? What did you do? Okay, that was just a bit of fun. I've got another game that I'm gonna try and play with you where I describe, I tell you the word, I tell you the thing that it is, and then you have to describe that thing back to me without using any of the words that are in that. And I've chosen some things out of The Wizard of Oz to go through. So the first one, this is what I'd do if I was explaining it back for argument's sake. The first one is the good witch. You've got to find a way to explain that back to me that doesn't include any of those words. This person is um, the other person. There is one really bad one and there is another one. And the really bad one wants Dorothy. She wants to get the shoes off of Dorothy. And the other one wants to help and help in any way she can. We first of all meet her at the beginning of Munchkinland. I think that's quite clear that it's the good witch, okay? So I'm gonna give you the word and you've gotta find a way to describe it back to me and I'll, I'll time it, I'll give you like maybe a minute to have done that explanation. And then it, you just see if you think you can explain that thing or that place or that person without using the word to do that with, okay? Right, the first one is Emerald City. How are you gonna explain that back to me or to somebody that you live with without using the word Emerald City. I might say it's a place where lots of people live. It's very busy. There's lots of different things going on in this place. And it's very, very green. Everybody wears green. Lots of different shades of green. A bit like the green wall. Lots and lots of green in this place. That's how I would describe the Emerald City. Okay, the second one is red shoes. How are you gonna describe that back to me? Or to the person you live with? Red shoes. You might say you wear them on your feet. They are a fantastic colour. They are the colour of danger. Dorothy wears them. Will that help somebody know what you're trying to describe? Okay, 
The next one is munchkins. Have a go at that. The first thing I think I would say is they are very, very small people. You might even get it on that. They're very small people and they have lots of silly voices. And we did the silly voices a few weeks back for the munchkins. Okay, the next one is Dorothy. This should be quite easy to explain. It's as simple as saying she's the main character in The Wizard of Oz. She's female, she wears a blue and white striped dress, she wears the red shoes, the wicked uh, witch is after her, she's been in a cyclone and she's arrived at The Wizard at, at um, Oz. Sorry, yeah, Oz. There's ways to explain things like this and the more you do it, it becomes easier. You just need to think, how can I describe this thing or this place or this person to really make it clear for the person who's trying to guess um, what that thing is. So I think Dorothy's probably the easiest one. The next one's also quite easy. Toto. Toto the dog. Off you go, have a go at describing that. You might say um, he's Dorothy's best friend. He has four legs. That kind of gives it away, doesn't it? Um, he's furry. And he sits in the basket. He gets taken away by the horrible lady at the beginning in the basket and he runs away. Um, he loves Dorothy very much. Something like that for Toto. Okay, the next one is Cyclone. Cyclone right at the beginning, remember? So how would you describe that without using the word? Have a go. You might say something like, um, it's a very, very forceful um, weather element that happens and it can lift buildings and it swirls and it's strong and it can lift things off the ground because it's so powerful and it's a form of weather. The next one is dreaming. How might you just describe dreaming? Dorothy goes into a dream at the beginning when she knocks her head and falls a little bit unconscious. Dreaming, how are you going to describe that? Have a go. I might say that it's something that you do while you're sleeping. It is something that happens that normally is quite nice while you're dreaming. You might say something like, when you go to sleep, something nice happens, and this is the thing that happens. You normally have lots of images in your head when you're doing this, and normally it's a nice experience. I don't know if it is for Dorothy, when Dorothy does it, because um, it's, well, because of what then happens when she wakes up um, with the house that just lands on the Wicked Witch. Okay, hopefully you've had a go at dreaming. The next one is the one that I did right at the beginning. So you might just be able to remember what I said if you want to. And the one, this is the Good Witch. 
have a go at describing the good witch. I would say, like I did at the beginning, there is a really, really bad one, and then there's another one that we meet right at the beginning of Munchkin Land, and this person helps Dorothy. This person wants to be there for her, wants to help her, then she comes back right at the end, and she tells Dorothy to click her shoes, and she might be able to get her home by clicking her shoes. That's how I'd describe the good witch. And the last one is the flying monkeys. How are you going to describe the flying monkeys to me? Have a go. I might say something like, they work for the bad witch. They're not very nice. They do a lot of um, flapping about in the sky. They are the henchmen for the Wicked Witch. They aren't very nice to Dorothy or Toto or the Tin Man or the Scarecrow or the Lion. And they are generally quite scary characters that live in the woods. And that is how I would describe all of those words. Um, it's just using a different way to explain things and make it really, really clear to the person that you are trying to explain those words to so that they can help you, so that you can help them to give the correct answer. So that's just a game that it's something that we might be doing back in Hangar Farm um, when we come together. And you can do it with all sorts of things. You can play this game with a friend and you, you, might, you might say, you might just choose objects that are around the house. It might be a chair. How are you going to describe that? It has four legs. You sit on it. That person should be able to reply that it's a chair, a table, windows, a car, um, a cat. You could do it with all sorts of different things. It doesn't have to be based on The Wizard of Oz. It's a game that you can play anytime, anywhere, um, with anybody that you're, that you're with at that time. And... Um, it's a nice game because everybody can do it and everybody can join in. And I think that that's quite nice. So that's two games for you this week. Hopefully you've been able to enjoy one of those activities, if not both of those activities. I know doing the word thing online, it might be a bit odd. Um, it, I didn't know if that was going to work or not. So we've just had a go and we'll just see. Um, and when we get back to Hangar Farm, I promise you we will be playing a lot more games and having a lot more fun, hopefully, down the line. So please keep washing your hands. Please, please stay really safe. And I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.